Hello there, this is Daniel from Toolchefs and in this video we're going to have a look at the new copy group module. So the copy group module allows you to copy the agents from a group in, onto another uh, and this is very, like this actually can improve the performances of your simulation in some cases. This is because we're not actually evaluating for each agent the full pose, but actually we are uh, copying it from one agent group to another. So here I have a simple agent group with uh, some agents playing the, the animation, an animation. Uh, also, it doesn't just copy the pose, but also it copies the metadata. So uh, I, I'm going to create a new agent group that then I'm going to uh, create a group copy module. And I'm going to select the first agent group. Actually, let me move it. This one here. So as you can see, if I go back here, the um, the the agent group is not the same. Uh, as you can see here, we have uh, the, the agents are not actually they've been they've been actually shuffled. Uh, if you want to have the same agent looking agent group, you just turn off the randomize. You see, basically now the that woman is there and that man is there and so on you can also if you want to randomize you can also change the seed if you don't like the initial randomization uh, and also another thing that you can do is uh, you can use height fields so let's say for instance we have this uh, grid object i've already converted this as an height field so i want to uh, assign it to the state machine of the first agent group that uh, and then i want to bring up the second agent group a little that and then let me assign the agent group sorry the right field here so as you can see here now we have uh, the agents are being shuffled but also are uh, on uh, on the eye field the problem um, like this this is great of course if you have eye fields that are similar and they have the same slope and shape from the source uh, uh, so I mean the 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 IP that is used by the source agent group and the and the destination agent group. If you have IP fields which have, uh, for instance, a slope, uh, sorry, a slope which is bumpy and so on, uh, the result would, would not be um, perfect uh, because you have uh, it would have like the the feet wouldn't wouldn't be actually aligned to the new slope of the IP field. So this is actually, uh, this uh, module is very useful for cases like when you have stadiums or, uh, you know, like uh, vignettes that you would just want to replicate in your scene. Uh, and this is all for this video. Thanks for watching.